Hi everyone, Ethan here from WordTech, back with another video, and this is another episode of Blips for you guys. So this is actually gonna be on Hammer, or Heat Assisted Magnetic Recording. It's a technology that's primarily being developed and focused on by Seagate. I haven't really heard of any other companies doing much with it, but it's basically going in theory and also in practice through some small tests, allow us to greatly increase the amount of data that we can store on a standard mechanical spinning hard drive. Now, for those of you who don't know, the way a mechanical spinning hard drive works is you basically got a platter that can accept a a magnetic polarity and we have a needle and the platter is spinning and that needle is able to essentially swap the polarity of a very small area on the platter to define a one or a zero that can be then read from later the problem is we can only write to so small of an area and we run into all kinds of random issues when it comes to writing to it where things can data can be corrupted and whatnot now we can read from almost infinitesimally small amounts or area on the platter so what Hammer does is it actually superheats the area being written to on the platter, which would be a, therefore a smaller area now using this technology, which allows us to write data to that. Now that effectively allows us to have a smaller grain size, therefore increasing aerial density. Now the reason for this is a material has a property called the magnetic coercivity, which is basically its ability to accept a specific polarity change from an external source without it being changed back randomly. Because particles uh, take a property known as superparamagnetism, which basically is explaining that nanoparticles, which is what we're dealing with here, very small areas can, uh, due to heat and all kinds of other stuff, randomly flop uh, polarities, which we completely corrupt data because the polarity is the data, right? That's the one or the zero. Now there's a specific amount of time that it takes for that to happen and that's called the nail. Uh, rela and the nail relaxation time, that's a person's name there. And, uh, you know, basically the smaller the particle you go, uh, it tends to flop back and forth easier. And when you have it flopping back and forth, you know, at all, really, it'll corrupt data, but you want it to be a significant amount of time before that happens so that the data doesn't get corrupted over time before hopefully in theory it's written back over, right? Now, hard drives, like I said, they can lose data over time because of this. That, that is a reason maybe you guys have known of that. It takes a very long time though. And I do worry that this hammer technology could potentially cause hard drives to be less reliable for as long-term storage. You know, if you're consistently using them and stuff, it probably wouldn't be a problem. But if you are you know, archiving stuff for a long period of time, it may end up being an issue. I'm not sure, but that's why, you know, when you're doing archival storage, most companies and people and whatnot stick with like tape drives or something that's been around for a really long time. So basically, a the way that hammer functions, and that's why it's called heat assisted, is a laser superheats a small area on the platter which allows, which raises that very, very, very tiny area, meaning it uses very little energy above what's called the Curie temperature. And that reduces the magnetic coercivity, which allows us to write to a much smaller area. The problem hasn't been us like making the needles too uh, small enough or anything like that. It's been, able, it's been the ability to actually get a specific area on the platter to maintain a specific magnetic polarity so that it can be read from later for a significant enough amount of time that it's actually viable, you know, not an hour, not a day, but a long period of time so that that data is never corrupted or lost. Now, like I said, Seagate is the company that is focusing on this more than pretty much anybody else. I haven't really seen much from Western Digital or other companies like that focusing on this technology. Seagate seems to really believe in it. I'm not sure if it was developed by them or not. I didn't find much information on that, but I know that it has been in development for like a decade now and the original hopes were potential hard drives by like 2015 and obviously that didn't happen but luckily Seagate has come out and said that they're hoping to have hammer drives out by the end of 2018. The idea is to start with 16 terabyte drives which doesn't sound that insane over our current you know 12 terabyte drives that we have but that is just the beginning of a brand new technology and eventually the goal is actually to increase uh, what we're able to do on a specific platter area by over a hundred fa uh, factor of over a hundred meaning where the goal is potentially 50 terabytes per square inch on the platter. And you know, they're pretty good sized platters, right? They're, they're no joke. And so you're starting to fit a lot of platters in a drive along with helium, allowing us to put even more in a drive. And I mean, you could potentially be looking at, you know, drives that are 150, 200 terabytes. And you know, we have SSDs right now that are in like sometimes a 40 terabyte range and stuff like that and even higher but they're very, very, very expensive. And the big idea behind Hammer is it doesn't increase the cost of the uh, drive by very much at all because it's not a particularly powerful laser. All that matters is it's a reliable laser that continues to function so that it can superheat the area, right? So we could actually in the future, you know, I would say, let's say five years from now, we could see drives for a hundred bucks that are 50 or hundred terabytes. 
and that's a really big deal. Now that might be a little bit of a stretch there, but it's definitely an interesting technology. It's something that I really, really, really am interested in. I love any kind of storage technology, and I still love mechanical drives for their, you know, obviously price to performance or price to capacity ratios. That while SSDs are getting better, if this hammer technology comes around, all of a sudden it's another race where the SSDs aren't gonna be catching back up anytime soon because of how massive these drives could get. It can also be great for the data center. You'd have a much smaller area storing petabytes and petabytes and petabytes of data, meaning that data centers wouldn't have to be quite as massive. They could just have way less drives storing just as much or more data than they did in say a, you know, a factory of up to a hundred times difference, right? A hundred times bigger for the same amount of data because of this technology. Again, that's the eventual hope, that's speculation, there's no guarantees there. And the start is probably gonna be somewhere between 16 and 20 terabyte hard drives. But we'll see how that goes. It might end up not being that expensive for these 16 terabyte drives. That might be the big thing. We might see them for, you know, let's say three, $400 for a 16 terabyte drive instead of, you know, six to $700. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, once again, Hammer heat assisted magnetic recording should in theory allow us to have much, much higher aerial density on the platters of hard drives, allowing us to store more data. Now, of course, everybody don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, leave a comment, let us know how we're doing. You know, definitely check out our website, check out our forums and whatnot like that. Let us know what you guys think of Hammer and if you're still excited about mechanical hard drives like I am. And of course, stay tuned for the next episode of Blips on Tuesday, the week after uploading this video. Thank you, everybody.